And you'll see every pet dog trainer, what they do is they'll tell the dog, leave it, yay, go get it. Leave it, yay, go get it. Completely wrong, right? The reason is if I tell a dog to leave something, that means leave it. Okay, till I give you something. So here, I just want to see if she has to potty. Good girl. So to start the relationship off, I'm going to show her I got something you want. I'm your friend. We're all good here. There's no issues here. Good girl. Good girl. Now, here's what's going to confuse her. Watch. Most every single dog, when they learn this, they need the correction to understand the guidance. What's her name? Sheba. 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 Sit. So now she knows sit, leave it. No. That went too close. No, sit. Good. Leave it. No, leave it. Leave it. Good. No, leave it. You must be able to correct the dog that they cannot get to those treats. No. Right? Leave it. Good. Leave it. Good. Excellent, right? And I now go, yeah, good girl. That's a good, good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. Right? She did not fail because of my refined technique. No. That's a leave it. Sit. No, sit. Leave it. No, sit. Right? So here, I should be able to pick these back up. Good. Good girl. Sit. Leave it. One, no, leave it. Good girl, leave it. Leave it. Yeah, good girl, right? Very important. That leave it can be a piece of treat, it can be a, a cat, it can be a dog, it can be anything. She has to understand what leave it means. Now, Pete, that's an excellent question. Some people might ask me, Robert, why wouldn't you let them just have those treats after the exercise? Simply put, because once I say leave it, it's leave it. It's clear communication. Sit. Right? If you say leave it and then, okay, go have it. Leave it. Okay, go have it. The dog will start to predict, eventually I can get it, and you'll have a conflict in your relationship. Well, why can't I have it now? Because I haven't said you can have it. When, leave it to me is so important, no, leave it, that she should be able to completely ignore these treats when I put it to the next level. So for example, sit. Right? I want to make sure I've got control of this before I do anything. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Leave it. What she'll do is defer. Yeah. Come. Nope. 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 Good girl. Right? Again. No. Sit. Leave it. She sh no. Leave it. What I can do with my dog is put it in front of him when he's laying down and say, leave it, and he's not going to touch it. Leave it. No. Leave it. Right? Here. No. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good. Yeah. And get her closer and closer to the distraction, right? She's not ready to walk over it, and she might never be, but she should clearly know that leave it means leave it even if it's here. Good. Leave it. Right? She's not going to get that. But she surely does want them. Oh! Boy, oh boy, but Pete, does she want them ever. I said, boy, oh boy, does she sure want them ever, Pete. She surely does. But she has to listen to me. I'll tell you why this kind of obedience is so important. If the dog is super friendly and super fun and sees a cat across the street, or something, or poison food in the street, and they go to get it, you don't have a leave it command, you're setting your dog up for failure. Everything I do, no matter how hard it looks, it's a life skill for the dog. There's three things I want every shelter, every dog in the world to know. One is come when I call. 
Two, stay when I tell you to stay. And three is leave it when I tell you to leave it. Those three skills can keep a dog alive. That's critical. And no matter how much she wants these, she's not gonna get them, right? It's no, it's a leave it. Now she's harder to handle, so I'm gonna put a, a thicker leash on her for you guys to do the leave it command with her. And if you screw it up, then not my problem. Just, yeah, put that on her. Um, who wants to go first with leave it? Who wants to roll the dice? All right, go. Okay. All right, guys. Hey, you know what? It's very brave of you to go to first. This is the hardest thing we've done. Right? Not now. I wouldn't if you're telling you to sit. Leave it. So the first thing to think, figure out is how are you going to hold down the leash? How's it going to be in your hand? And do you think you can control this 70-something pound dog with that position on your hand, with one hand to do this like I did? I'm incredibly strong. I'm like Superman. All right, so try it. Right? If you're going to tell her leave it and she does it, you better tell her no, leave it. Okay. Loose leash. Good. One more time. Good. Now walk towards me and pay her. Yeah, good girl. Okay, I'll get these for you to make it easier. All right, who's next? I want everybody to try this. With, with, I mean, we're going to have two or three dogs to do this with. Here. She's looking for the treat. That's fine. Leave it. So each time you say leave it and you throw it. Leave it and throw it. Good. Okay, you see if you can pick those up without her getting it. Good. All right, next. Okay, try to follow basic commands like that. I didn't teach. Yeah. I don't know who taught you that, but we don't ch in this ch class. Right? <laughs> there, there, bound Angel 2.0? This Bound Angel 2.0, no, there's no ch-ing. Each time, leave it. Good, nice. All right, good. All right, next person. And I would be careful with that pack because she's going to go into your pack and take your food out and whatever papers you got in the front. Because that's a big bag. It's, you know, it's funny, Pete, the treats are getting smaller and smaller. By the last person, it's going to be like a, a morsel. Leave it. Does that count? Kind of. She didn't get it. For extra credit, you can see if you can pick them up and see, without her getting it. I want to give her a treat. Well, you better, you better give her a treat and release her. Yes, good job. You think you can get those? All right, let's bet a dollar. I owe you a dollar. Fair enough. Who's next? When you tell the dog to leave it... Oh, we're not oh. doing our own treats. You can do your own treats. Yeah, use that's better size. Yeah. You guys are getting kind of chintzy over here on this leave it thing, right? Leave it. It should be tempting. Good. No, leave it and then throw it. Tell her to leave it. And then throw it. Yeah. Leave it. Loose leash. Good. So it's always fair to say leave it before you go touch it, right? You want to make sure she understands the leave it command. All right, who's next? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. And then if you want to get another dog? Oh, yeah, thanks. Good, nice work. Nice work. Next person. 
Can you pick those up while you got her? It's gonna be hard. I mean, you're, you know. Good, excellent work. Don't do this with a dog who has food aggression issues. Seriously, I mean, I know this sounds like a funny question, but make sure you know your dog. You're able to do it now because I've worked with this dog. You need some treats? There's three leave it's and I'll give you a reward when you need it. Loosen your right hand a little bit. Loosen it. Yeah, because what you want to do on this, guys, is you want to correct the dog, right? So if you have it tight, you're blocking the dog. This is a big difference. If it's tight, you're blocking the dog. She can't get it. You want to leave it loose. Put your hand down. Right? And now tell her to leave it and then drop it. Leave it. Correction. Good. There you go. Perfect. Drop your hand again, your right hand. Drop. There you go. Leave it. Leave it. That's it. Now she's doing it because you're telling her to do it, not because you're choking her out. Leave it. Good. Walk backwards. There you go. Who hasn't gone yet? Good, Tammy. Good job. So what you, I want to make one stress, one big thing with all of you guys. Putting your hand in this position is an open target for a bite, a bite, and a bite. Right? Your hand is this way. You're, this is a big body to bite, right? So this is, for a, for a dog, this is more intimidating to bite than this. This is like, oh, I might as well bite this. They almost don't see it as part of your body. Okay? Excellent. Good, good work. You guys, don't be afraid to say no. You guys are all afraid of that word. And nothing drives me more crazy than when a person can't say no to a dog. It's like kids. No. Okay, who's next? Everybody work this dog? Yeah? Okay, good. Um, I'll take her. I'm going to take the next dog.